Creating a database with a GUI is actually pretty straightforward, but what about from the command line? There's actually really two methods of creating a database from the command line. One is with DBCA, silent creation, and the other would be actually just using the create database statement. So the DBCA command is actually pretty easy. First, let me just set my variables. and. Uh, if you just run dbca-help, this is pretty easy. You don't even need to look this up. You can see there are all the arguments. <coughs> OK. So dbca-silent, and then specify all the stuff that you want. So there's nice examples. It's pretty laid out there. and I'm just going to do something like this, dash silent. I want to do a create database, right? And you can see that. OK, so there's template name, and that's up here. So you can see create database with a template is, well, yeah. So sys password, system password, uh, the SID. Oh, somewhere in here has got to be a DB name, GDB name. There you go. And that's a required thing. So let's see if I can remember some of this. Uh, template name. C G D B name. Let's call this EX2. You see how easy this is. Cool. <laughs> Autopilot typing. DBSNMP password Oracle and Sysman <coughs> is required because we're configuring database control. OK, so you can see that my DBCA failed. So this is the kind of stuff that I expect to encounter during an exam. Um, you know, I'll be asked to do something I've never done before. Uh, I kind of guess my way around, and I poke my way around, and I'm like, uh-oh, what does this say? It pretty much gives me straight instructions. It's like, hey, hang on a second. You're running your listener somewhere else, right? So if you remember uh, from a different video, I do a CR, uh, SRV CTL config listener dash A. Oops, SRV CTL ah, config listener. Huh, just with nothing. Uh, you can see that I'm running the listener out of the database home. All right, so let's just stop that. And let's do an SRVCTL modify listener and take it out of the home oops, of grid. And I probably also want to copy over that file listener to Aura. But before I do that, let's just see if there's already a listener to Aura in here. It isn't, there is not. So we want to copy. this listener.aura from the database home to the uh, to the grid home <coughs> and now srvctl start listener and he's up and now let's try that dbca again keyboard is there we go 
Ah, right. And there you have it. Now we just wait. Okay, so um, you can see that my DBCA was successful. It's a um, pretty fast process here. And uh, yeah, what else can I say about this? It, uh, it worked. <laughs> so. Other instance, we're good. We're good. And well, the last thing is EMCTL status DB console. Oops, if I can spell. So this is how you can discover the port. That's one way of discovering the port. Another would be to look through the logs of this DBCA. So 1158. And if I open a browser, uh, let's say like so, and I go to, I believe it's IP31, and there we go, proceed anyway, oops, wrong password. you can see it's working. Yay. So that's Enterprise Manager Database Control configured with DBCA, using DBCA.